Alright, how's it going guys? This is something I haven't done in quite a while. But, there was an emergency and there needed to be an update today. So we're doing an actual update. Update, rather than an update. Testing. Everything has already been tested, for the most part. Um, I did a quick testing of the major thing so now we're just going to kind of go over what has changed and we're going to go over um how that has changed what we're doing here in the factory so the major one was there was a crucible crash that caused a no point exception when certain items were put in and that has been fixed. Hopefully nobody else has had to deal with that. I found that today when I tried to make some uh, iron. Um, there is now a bronze drum. Uh, to go along with the Invar and the Stainless. They all three have the same capacity. Um, up until this update, the bronze one was able to handle acids, which it shouldn't have been able to. It is meant to just be an early game drum uh, that doesn't melt down, that can contain gases before you get to Invar. Or in place of Invar for that as well. Um, I disagree on the size, but that's what Greg went with. So, And as far as I have seen, there is no tank to go along with it. Yeah, there is no bronze tank. So you just get the bronze drum. So if you have the 13, thir or four, 6, 14, 13... And you have put any acids in your bronze drum that you may have made. Because Greg didn't put the bronze drums on the change log, so I didn't know they were there to test them last time. Get the acids out before you update. Now, the next one I am not testing here. We can go to a, another world to test this, but I am not dying for it. Um, Greg has made it. I have told many people over the last six years, if that needle gets to the red, get the boiler out of there, it's going to blow up. So I've told them to just wrench it. Do not do that anymore. <laughs> Apparently Greg has always expected them to blow up. And he didn't realize that they didn't. Never seen me do it. So now they actually blow up if you try to wrench them while they are at, while they are pressurized. So don't do that. We're going to go see just how big of a explosion it is at the end of the video here. I'll spawn one in and we'll see what we can do where I'm not going to die. Um, oceans somehow were displacing swamp water even when it was not supposed to. That has been fixed. Several issues with the rotational pump has been fixed, so it should be smarter now. Um, we've been doing a lot of testing of the rotational pump on the server, so it has been getting a bunch of complaints coming into Greg about this and that. And the big change that we are here for is with the centrifuge. This is what's going to chart cause a big change in what we're doing here because we just got this rebuilt for this playthrough. And it's all garbage now. So the centrifuge now, when you're doing ores, give you nine purified refined so you're not getting any dust out of this anymore centrifuge is only going to be putting out refines 
So this right here, completely useless. I'm going to have to take that out. Also, you now get a nine time chance at 10%. So for anybody that doesn't actually understand this, how this actually works, it's not a 10% chance at nine of them. It is nine times of rolling to get the 10% chance. So you have one less than 10%, 10 chances at a 10% chance. So it's supposed to come out at approximately 100% for each one. But it's one less than that. And I have noticed watching this one a little bit that sometimes I'll get two of one, one of another one, and nothing for the other. Um, so it's not really a whole big loss. But the big change, and we'll let this one get before I do it, is that you now do not have to do... See, that one I only got one because the first thing goes out and these two would have came after that. So I only got one out of that one. But the big change is when you get to your tiny purifieds, which now you get the tiny refined, but you also get one 10% chance at each one of these. So it's going to equal out to exactly the same as the other one as this because nine of them would make this but it just does it for each tiny so therefore this is not needed we can just pipe all of our uh tiny purifieds and regular and regular um purifieds we can just pipe that right into the centrifuge minus what we want saved out for sifting or bathing now that's the next thing is the sifter so let's look at diamond because it'll give us the recipe we want so there is the sifter so now your tiny purifieds can be sifted you get a 0.1 percent chance at legendary 0.10% chance at Exquisite, 0.4% chance at Flawless, 1.5% on the Regular, 2 on the Flawed, 4 on the Chipped, and you do get 2 chances for each of those, and 4 chances for each of those, and then 5% chance on your Diamond Dust. And then the regular is 0.09% on legendary, 0.9% on exquisite, 3.6, 13.5, 18.36, and 45. And that'll be for all of your gems. Now, when you look at coal, and anything like coal that actually has a doesn't have the exquisites so now you have eight at point one if you're doing full it's point nine um four chances for the second one which is point one and then point nine it's just nine times bigger for this one um, then you have two chances at that one at 0.4, then one chance at 1.5, one at two, one at four, and then 5% chance at the dust. And for these, it's 13.5, 18, 36, and 45. So the coal dust went down a little bit, and I think in here it went up a little bit. Um, I've never really sifted coal because you end up with less power out now if you're using coal dust for um like 
aluminum, silicon processing, iron processing, stuff like that, rather than coke, then maybe this will be worthwhile for you. But I use coke for everything that I need to get carbon from that I don't have direct carbon. So therefore, I don't want to use um, the sifter for the most part because you're going to get back less of the items than what you would if you just threw it in the coke oven. But that's the major change that has came for uh, what we did here. So all of this that I just got built is going to be recycled and used for something else. Um, the next thing is grass, grass out. Holy crap. My tongue got in front of my eye teeth. I couldn't see what I was saying. So apparently in the newer versions of Minecraft, they have made it to where dirt paths can be made on dirt mycelium and all of that other stuff so now you don't have to wait around which man this would have been a really nice thing to have when i built most of the things around here because i stood around waiting for dirt to change to grass so i can make the path uh quite often but you can also do that which will turn it as well and then um mycelium if you got that uh let's see wrenches and monkey wrenches have changed i have no idea why greg chose to do this one it's kind of annoying to me because i have the recipes memorized because they're the same recipe at least for the wrench that it has been for many years and now we're just two plates short so it's going to be cheaper to make your wrenches so that'll be nice it's just you got to remember the new recipe which is similar to the build craft wrench and then the monkey wrench is really different because it's an upside down L shape now so it's missing this plate and that plate I'm not sure why he didn't move the screw up one because if you think of a, a monkey wrench the screw would be here not down here uh, if he's going to change it to this he should have put the screw up one instead but yeah so at least they're a little bit cheaper now just going to be annoying trying to remember. Um, a, there's extra info now for certain things in here. So like the mercury bottle. There's now a other relations tab. That will show you that you throw two units of cinnabar into a crucible. Which is actually wrong. You need three. I need to tell that to Greg. In a centrifuge, two is fine, but in a crucible, it needs to be three. So that's going to confuse some folks. I'll have to make sure I point that out to him. And then wait until it melts into mercury. Right-click the crucible with an empty bottle. And heat up your crucible using a burning box. And that tells you how to get your initial mercury bottle. And then steel has the same thing. So if we go to steel, other relations, heat up your crucible using a burning box, throw iron into your crucible, or throw wrought iron into your crucible. Don't forget to shape the mold to pour it. Wait until it is all turned into steel and point a running engine into the crucible to blow air. So that kind of explains. And then this shows the different kind of airs. I don't really agree with these being down here as much because people already think they can use the air vent to put air in a crucible, which is not going to work. 
but it's what Greg did, so yeah. Anyways, it says here a little bit of any eye for mercury bottle making steel. And then he added a detection for corrupted chunks to the ocean world gen. This should probably help reduce the amount of randomly corrupted chunks because of Minecraft being stupid. If this turns out to be too obnoxious, I will remove parts of this feature again. So, that is it for the update testing. I'm still going to go and break a boiler in uh, my other world. Or in another world in a minute. But, I wanted to show you guys one other thing. Since this is a somewhat regular video. We have run out of hydrogen, and so therefore I can't make my biofuel that I've been making over here. So I closed off that pipe. We're going to burn out the rest of what's in there. So now it's empty, and we're going to change this over to a normal gas for now. We've been using a lot of hydrogen for tungsten processing. Huh? That should be natural gas right there. So, actually, I screwed that up and kind of disconnected it at the wrong, wrong one. But we'll just tap that out of there. Connect that there. And there we go. Now we have natural gas in our line. And now I should be able to run these again. Alright, so I'm going to switch over to the other world real quick. And let's go see if we can blow up a running boiler. For some reason, it takes a while for the internal server to start up and shut down. I don't know what in the hell's been going on with this thing, but it's gotten rather slow. Um, actually, we'll use this one. This is my old... I had to run a backup a while back. So, we'll use this one. It's got everything in the factory. It's good for this kind of explosive testing. And again, it's going to take a minute for the world to load. They have gotten rather slow in single player. Come on, you can build the train. And no, I'm not going to edit this out. I got to wait every time you guys can wait this once. I'm going to have to wait to get back into the other world once this thing gets done. So, this is actually where I tested it last time to show Greg that it wouldn't break. So, I guess we'll uh, use this one. Now, I want to see if it does it while it's heating. Okay. Doesn't do it while it's heating. So, now we'll let it heat up here. And get up to pressure and we'll see just how much of an explosion it does I don't have any other boilers on in this world or else I'd run one of them but the only thing I was running at this time was crushing things and 
Move. Steam, you gotta love it. You know what? I'm gonna light this up because I have an idea. Knowing my luck, it's going to. You know what? Let's light that one too. I want to see if I can stand back far enough. Because you got about a seven block reach. I think it is. Well, maybe not seven. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five block reach. I want to see if I can break this and it not hurt me. Because I'm not sure how big this explosion is going to be. Okay, one more tick. Right, there we go. Now it's actually at full pressure, and we should be making power. Ooh! That's a heck of an explosion. Yeah, don't do that. That was bad. Okay, so yeah, he he definitely uh, made you stop doing that. I just wonder if he made it to where if it's overpressurized, if it blows up more. But you definitely can do it if you absolutely had to. But it's really not going to change anything because you're still going to blow everything up so yeah take out the burning box don't take out the boiler because the burning box is perfectly safe let that thing tick over one more and now we just do that and it's safe nothing to worry about just don't pick up the burning box all right so I'll leave you guys with that and have a good day.